hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel at learning so today i am going to show you how you can uh, download or install uh, flutter uh, on uh, apple uh, m on mac or you can say apple uh, silicon okay so for this you just open your browser and type this docs.flutter.dev and hit enter then you will redirect it to the official website of flutter then you just uh, click here get started okay so depending on your uh, operating system you can click but uh, in our case it is mac OS, so we are clicking here okay so you can see that uh, the system requirements are operating system mac OS. disk space uh, should be 2.8 gb okay and the tools uh, are flatter uh, use git and xcode so you have to uh, install xcode and git okay so but uh, here is an important notice you can see uh, on apple silicon mac uh, you have to uh, just install rosetta uh, so just copy this and uh, hit command and space bar then your spotlight will be open then you just type terminal okay hit enter then your terminal will be open and copy paste that command and again hit enter it will ask about your system password enter the password then hit enter okay so it is installing rosita you can see here depending on internet speed so okay this is successfully installed okay okay so let's head back to the website so now that we have uh, installed rosita then we have to download the sdk okay so in our case we have apple silicon or apple m1 Mm, zip so we have to download this one flutter mac os arm 64 okay so just click on there and you can see here it has started the downloading but in my case i have already downloaded the flutter uh, zip file so i am cancelling here so for your case it may take some uh, minutes to download it then then you can see the second step we have to exact, extract the file and unzip okay means we have to unzip the file so go to your download folder open up your finder folder then it download double click on the zip file okay so here we ex extracting the file expanding it so let's give it some second okay it has already expanded so we, you can delete this uh, for deleting you can uh, command delete command plus delete okay so it has been deleted now you should go your home directory so here you can see that uh, the home root okay okay so let me organize this okay so you 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 can go your home directory then you just create one folder to create a folder hit shift command and n okay so name it i am naming it flutter dev okay so hit enter so i have created my file and now i have to move that flutter folder there okay so in this way you can move that folder in flutter was okay so you can see the flutter folder is here and we have downloaded this so i have downloaded this now 
because uh, here you can see that uh, add flutter tool to your path if we use this after uh, we have uh, completed a step 2 now we have to do step 3 but in this case if we do these things then we have to mention the path every time we are using flutter so we are using that permanently okay to permanently add flutter path see update your path okay so we are clicking here so you can see we have to clone the folder of sdk okay so then install uh, depending on your uh, terminal whatever we are using so as we are using apple silicon so our in our case the folder will be dot jshrc okay so what we can, we have to do we have to find this folder then in that folder we have to update this path okay so let first locate this folder okay so go to your finder then yeah, there are uh, here uh, many <coughs> sorry here many files are there uh, hidden files so to see the hidden files you hit shift command and then dot okay so you can see all the hidden files are here okay so i am expanding this to see this okay so we are finding dot jshrc okay this file so double click on it and here we have to update that path right so let me update just a second okay so we are copying this in that file we have to add the following git repo okay so we are copying this code and whatever they are inside your folder do not touch any of the things just you copy paste paste for pasting in apple you just mac you just uh, hit command v okay so here we have pasted that line now we have to delete this part and update the path of that downloaded folder okay so let's see the path so as we have located this folder we can now uh, hide this so shift command dot now flutter dot dev where you have shipped your flutter folder there um, inside the flutter folder there will be a folder called bin so right click on it get info then just copy the path okay so command c okay so we have copied the full path so now we are replacing this path from here to here the third bracket part okay so we are deleting this and we are copy pasting this command v okay so you can see that from the root up to the flutter folder and this was in the command itself from the website you can see okay so here is the slash bin okay this bin slash bin should be there okay and this is necessary okay so we have updated the path now you can save so command s okay you can see it is all saved so now the path has been saved so let's do the next step so what we have to do so we have to verify okay so we can uh, run this this command uh, you can copy source up to this but after dot you have to write dot z is is rc okay that full file name okay or you can open a new terminal okay so we are we will open a new terminal so after opening the new terminal you have to verify that flutter bin directory is now in your path so our path in our path 
this flutter bin should be there so copy this so i am reopening the terminal okay so you can command space bar then terminal hit enter okay so you have copy that command line right so copy paste it command v okay so then just hit enter so now now you can see that we have verified that flutter dot bin is there okay so here you can see that flutter dot bin should be there so flutter dot bin is there now verify that flutter command is available by running so this will show us the flutter version okay which flutter so copy this and just run this okay so sorry this is uh, showing the uh, path where the flutter is located so you can see that in our home directory we have created uh, uh, that folder that uh, flutter deb inside that folder we move the, uh, this folder flutter and inside that flutter bin is there and inside bin flutter is there okay so we have updated our path now what we have to do let's see so so we are now ready to run flutter commands okay so flutter is now installed in your system uh, or notice there to update an existing uh, version of flutter see upgrade flutter so you can upgrade uh, flutter later no problem but uh, run the following commands to see if they are are any dependencies you need to install to complete the setup okay so we have to just see the dependencies we have to install or not so let's copy paste that command in the terminal and hit enter okay so if any dependency is need, uh, needed to download then it will download that dependency okay so it is downloading you can see but if there is uh, there was no flutter uh, in this command uh, there uh, error uh, should be there if you have not correctly installed this uh, flutter okay so th uh, this showing this path means we already have in we already successfully installed flutter or uh, from this step you can also verify that flutter bin is there so we have successfully install flutter and here uh, flutter doctor is verifying that we have flutter okay so you can see there here mac os 13.1 uh, mac os version then we have android tools in uh, this is for uh, the android uh, development uh, kit and this is export for ios development all of you know this is chrome i i have this is android studio everyone know that android studio for uh, creating uh, android application in mac os means uh, uh, installing android studio we can uh, write or make application of uh, and for android and we have connected two devices available means these are showing that uh, i have two simulator means uh, uh, after uh, uh, making any application we can uh, check that application in this simulator uh, on for ios and on for android and we have a ttp host availability okay no issue found so this assured that all the things we need for platter is already installed in my system so here some other uh, things you can do so install xcode you can see here install ios simulator uh, so after uh, creating your app how you can uh, means uh, uh, verify uh, how your app is behaving so you can uh, download ios simulator or you can uh, download android android setup android studio android simulator okay so you can just download only on simulator that is also okay uh, to check uh, in ios but if you want you can also download uh, the 
android simulator and uh, for that you have to download android studio okay here so if you need uh, to download android uh, install android studio or xcode or any of the things then you can uh, notify me in the comment section and i will uh, create a new spread video for that so thank you thank you for watching and if you uh, if you like my uh, content please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, like my videos and uh, share with your friends thank you very much